It's the end of September 2020 and we're off to our favourite site in the Lake District. It's called Pier Cottage and it's situated on the shore of Coniston Water. We're passing the turning for Eam Village which is the plague village of 1066. No, 1666. Oh, 1666. <laughs> That's Battle of Hastings. <laughs> We're leaving the M6 now and heading for the A590. Now take the exit on the left. We're leaving the A590 and we want to be turning on the A5092. We're turning off the A5092. Now turn right. On to the A5084. Please follow the road for six miles. Prepare to turn right. On to A593. Oh, another caravan. So we're turning off uh, this one, which is the A5084. Please turn right in 200 yards onto A593. A593 Coniston. Now turn right. We're still 1.4 mile to our destination. We're now in Coniston Village. Please turn right in 200 yards. Turning on to the uh, B5285. Now turn right. This is the main part of the village. yards you will have reached your destination Pier Cottage you have reached your destination this is it driveway to Pier Cottage.
Walker's Paradise, the Lake District. We've got to open the gate. One, two, three. I think we were on that pitch where this red car is before. We were. If that's pitch four, pitch five here. That's us. This is what we like to have when we arrive on site once we've set up is pate and toast and beetroot. And how cool is this view? Lovely. This is the life. Oh, it's National Trust Steam Gondola there. I think the site's got a charm of its own. The pictures are set out randomly uh, with hedges and trees, and I like that sort of thing. Let's have a walk around this corner. Table and chairs. Bluebird Cafe there. That's Bluebird Cafe. Let's have a look around the other side. We'll come back here later. I'll show you something. A bit more of the site here. As you can see, the pitches are all separated with hedges. With the entrance behind me, there's the office, reception, facilities, recycling, and Elson toilet disposal. This is recycling. This is the Elson disposal, two points. And this is the start of the touring area. To my right is pitch one and then pitch two. Pitch A has got a lake view. view. 
There's us. At the side of our caravan, there's a boat access to the water there and another boat access there. Following on. That's pitch 10. That's pitch 12. And back to reception. look at the setup that's the bollard with the water and electric connection there's also a tv hookup i've had to use the 7.5 meter water extension hose and the 25 meter electric hookup cable gray waste goes underneath the caravan I've tuned the TV into the aerial in its travel position and I've picked up all the stations, even HD, BBC One, BBC Two and so on. There's the excess electric hookup cable. The reason I've used the longer extension cable and hose is because you can pitch your caravan any which way around you like. And we've placed it here because of the view. And there's Coniston Launch. It's a 16 amp hookup. The electric is metered and you pay at the end of your stay. Gondolas coming in, mooring up for the night. Closer look at the steam yacht gondola. Even at the end of the day, it's beautiful. 
Just look at that. The gondola's just left the jetty at Pier Cottage. A few minutes walk along the driveway from Pier Cottage is the Coniston Inn. The best way to get to Bluebird Cafe and then straight up to the village is out of the main entrance from Pier Cottage and cut across this footpath and across the bridge over the um, inlet. That's the path to the Bluebird Cafe or you can walk along the water's edge and that's the path to the other side of the water's edge and in fact we'll go that way and I'll show you where we were pitched up last time we were here four years ago. On the front page of my YouTube channel the banner across the top the photograph is actually there and we were pitched up where that camper van is and that's the view we had. There's Bluebird Cafe with the steamboat launch pad. Bit of information on the steam yacht gondola. From the Bluebird Cafe, we walk straight up this road into the village. This is five minutes from the caravan. And it's taken us 12 minutes to walk from the caravan to the village. Quick view of the centre of the village. We've just come from the centre of the village. And that's the road down to Bluebird Cafe. Robert. Tea cake time. <laughs> Where are we now? We've just come past the youth hostel and we're on this track here and we're heading off, off up to Leavers Water. Bit of information here on the copper mines. Come across this inscription on our way up to Leavers Water.
fire hydrant halfway up the mountain. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Oh, we're nearly there. Old man of Coniston's got his head in the clouds. We finally reached Lever's Water. Clouds are low. It's drizzly. Look at that. What a difference 15 minutes makes. We're heading off back down the mountain now. I mean, 15 minutes ago, you could see Coniston. We've literally got, uh, we've literally got, uh, <laughs> we've got a uh, head <laughs> started to rain, be expected up here. Um, we've had our coffee, had the tea cake, and we better head off on back down to the caravan. A bit more information here on the copper mines. I'll do a quick swoop of this Coniston Copper Mines information board and you can pause and read it. So we've come down from Copper Mines Valley, there's Miner's Bridge. Look how clear that water is. That's a bit of a drop down there. Just look at that, eight o'clock in the morning. Sun's rising, it'll soon clear. The mist's nearly gone. It's give a good day and hopefully we're gonna go up the Old Manor Coniston, which is 803 meters above sea level. But first it's breakfast time. That's where we're going today, the Old Man of Coniston. This is the footpath up to the Old Man from the village. And that's the road up to the copper mines. been walking an hour and there's the summit still climbing Still climbing. We've reached low water and I'll show on the map. That's low water. There's the summit. I'll do a quick panoramic view. That's the summit up there. Low water. We've chosen us pitch to set up for lunch and that's the view over low water. Still climbing. Ray. What, are you, 
We've made it, <laughs> We've to, made the it to the summit. <sighs> There's low water. That's Leavers Water, Copper Mines Valley. We've got to go all the way back down there through the village to Pier Cottage. Just there. It's taken three and a half hours to get here from the caravan. There's Grange Over Sands and Morecambe Bay. Right over there is Sallyfield. There's Coniston Water all the way along there. You can also see Windermere. Just there. We're making our way back down. It's very quiet and peaceful up here. Oh, it's a bit rough here. Watch your footing. Still making our way back down. Little tunnel there. Don't want to slip on these stones. Working our way back down all these loose stones. Still a long way to go yet. I'm gonna get under these steel ropes. It's our last day and we're taking a gentle stroll along the shores of Coniston Water. This is where we are. We're now at Torva Jetty, where you can pick up the Coniston launch. Quick look at the OS maps, Coniston's on two maps. This one shows Pier Cottage and we're right on the end of that peninsula. One of the walks we did was along the shore to Bluebird Cafe, up this road into the village. And then we took this footpath into Copper Mines Valley. And then we continued up to Leavers Water Reservoir. The next day, we took the same footpath out of the village to Miner's Bridge, then took the left footpath and made our way up to low water and then carried on climbing up to the summit of the Old Man of Coniston. And on the last day, from Bluebird Cafe, we took this footpath down to the shore of Coniston Water and then we took this footpath through Tova Common Wood up to this point and then double back down this one and return to the caravan. If you remember when we were at the summit of the Old Man of Coniston, you could see Sallafield. And Sallafield is right over on the west coast. Just there. There are lots of walks to do from Coniston. There are miles and miles of footpaths all over the fells. There are lots of car parks. For example, you can park up and walk round Tarn House. There's Grisdale Forest Park. Lots of walking to do there. And if you're not into walking, there's lots of little villages and hamlets to visit.
And they are OS Explorer maps, OL6 and OL7. OL6 has got the Old Man of Coniston and the West Coast on it. To sum it up, there are 15 service pitches and most of them have got a late view. The owners are great and you don't need me to tell you we've had a good time here and we're certainly going to miss that view. And that's Pier Cottage, Coniston in the Lake District. See you on the next side.